my name is Rich Love Ezebo. Uh, I live in Sweden. Um, six years ago, I after I had my second child, I noticed this um, touch of I was losing touch of reality. I I was in a state of uh, total confusion. Nothing seems to add up. My brain would drift away. I I would leave home without proper shoes and clothes. My husband would be around, out there looking for me. My daughter would be out there looking for me. Um, it continued for a very long time until uh, finally we decided to see a psychologist and then uh, we did. Later we were asked to do a lot of um, scans, CT scans, series of tests and it all came back that I had um, PTSD with dissociation. Uh, I was placed on medication and I've been taking these medications for the past three years and nothing is happening. These attacks keep coming in each and every time. I leave, I, I lose touch of reality and it, in fact it, it was so devastating if I should say. It was more like uh, I was in a state of um, kind of uh, insanity, I should say, because I was not acting normal when I have these uh, attacks. So I I go for therapy every week. I I take my medications. I just follow what the doctor says I should do. And then uh, somewhere around June, uh, someone sent the link to my husband, and then we cuting. We started praying. We with, we are here every morning praying, praying, and finally uh, around September, September 7th, uh, I was on the platform praying as usual. And then the word came for me. Pastor Jerry said, there is someone on this platform that is uh, taking medication for mental illness. That even though you're taking these medications, these attacks keeps happening. I don't know what to call it, but there's these attacks that keep coming. They are persistent. They keep happening. Who is it that I see in the spirit? Uh -huh. You are taking uh -huh. medication for mental sickness. Uh -huh. You are taking medication for mental sickness. Uh -huh. oh, the spirit of God is telling me, even with the medication you are taking right now, uh -huh. Rabba Lakasa, Rabba Lakasa, the attack is coming more and more. Uh -huh. Lakasa, Alaba, you will still be taking the drugs. Uh -huh. And what day is happening to you? Is happening to you? Man of God declare. Every affliction of the devil. Uh -huh. I, in fact, that very moment I jumped up, I was so happy, I was excited, I started shouting, thank you Jesus, I was thanking God, I said this is my healing, I receive instant healing in the name of Jesus. Right after the prayers, after that day, I refused to take my medication. I refused to take my medication. And throughout that day, I didn't have any single twitch in the brain. I didn't drift away from reality. I was, I was in total control of myself. I was not hallucinating. I was not hearing voices. My brain was stable. I, 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 for the first time ever in six years, my I, I felt this peace in my in my body, in my head, in my brain. Everything became quiet. Everything became quiet. The Lord silenced the voice of the evil one in my head. I want to say thank God. What God cannot do does not exist. He did this for me. And yes, today, the 5th of October, I have not had any dissociation nothing 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 is happening my mind is at peace in fact i just want to say thank god for this healing thank you pastor jerry thank you nsppd team god bless you all this is amazing this there is fire on this altar there is fire on this altar what god cannot do does not exist ptsd with dissociation six years has just stopped just like that just like that i thank god for all he has done for me amen